All right, so this is problem 13 on Kenneth Crane's Modern Physics book. Uh, so in this case, a physics professor claims in court that the reason he went through the red light with the wavelength 65 nanometers was that due to his motion, the red car color was Doppler shifted to green, lambda equals 550. How fast was he going? So before we work through this problem, if you wouldn't mind, please, subscribing and liking this video helps me out. All right, so this is my attempt of a drawing of the situation. I know it's not very good, but this is the car going through, and the question is, how fast would he need to be going for his statement to be true? So we're gonna use our Doppler effect equation, same as the last video, which is F prime. You could think of that as being your Doppler shifted wavelength at, or uh, frequency. Time uh, equals F times the square root. So it's always going to be one something U over C divided by one plus or minus divided by minus plus U over C. So what that means is if this is plus, then this is minus. That's what that means if you haven't seen that before. So in this case, to decide if it's the top and bottom, whether they're plus or minus, we have to ask ourselves, is the observer moving towards the admission of the light or is they, are they moving away from it? Well, if in this case he's moving towards it, he's driving through the red light, so he's driving towards the admission of the light. So because of that, we're gonna have a plus in the top and a minus in the denominator. So that's an important thing to know. The next thing to do is just note that you can rewrite your frequency as C over lambda. So C over lambda prime equals C over lambda, the square root, just as we had before. Okay, so that's just using the fact that frequency is, for this, um, our electromagnetic waves is C over lambda. <clears throat> so the C's can divide out. They want to both uh, have the speed of light C there, so that's going to go away. And the question is, what is the speed U? What is the speed of our uh, reference frame? So lambda squared divided by lambda prime squared equals 1 plus u over c divided by 1 minus u over c. And if you understood the last video, it's going to be kind of a similar set of uh, math to solve this. So we can multiply over. really just algebra. Uh, that should be a minus. Distribute. And now we want every term with u on one side of the equation and any term without u on the other. So I'm gonna subtract one from both sides, and I'm gonna add lambda squared divided by lambda prime squared to both sides. So we're gonna have lambda squared over lambda prime squared minus one equals u over c plus lambda squared over lambda prime squared times u over c. I like to have as many positive terms as possible, but it, you could have moved it to the other side just as easily. So now I'm gonna factor out the u over c on the right-hand side. So nothing's changing on the left hand. We'll have one plus lambda squared divided by lambda prime squared. Now we can divide over by that and multiply by C. And 
that'll be you. Okay, so now the question is, which one... We have two wavelengths. We have the wavelength for red light, which is 650 nanometers, and we have the wavelength for green light, which is 550 nanometers. That was just giving him the problem here. So we have our red light wavelength, and we also have our green light wavelength. The question is, which one is which? So our lambda is just going to be 650, and lambda prime is going to be 550. So lambda prime is going to correspond to the green. That's because our prime notation is uh, related to our um, uh, Doppler effect. So lambda is the red light that the stationary cop or whoever observed. So that's 650 nanometers. And I'm not going to convert this to meters. It's not necessary. Um, when you plug these in, you're going to have nanometers squared over nanometers squared, so the units are going to drop. It doesn't, it's not really helpful. So I'm just going to leave them in nanometers. And lambda prime, that's the uh, claimed wavelength that, that was observed from our reference frame, so 550. And if you plug all this in, you get U equals... 0.166c. So you'd be you'd have to get going uh, about 16%. If you're wondering how I do that, you just multiply it by 100. That's 16% the speed of light. About a little bit more actually, but so if you just multiply it by 100, it's 16.6. And there's more decimals. I obviously rounded, but so probably not, probably not. But uh, that's how you go through this problem. So hopefully that was helpful. And if it was, please subscribe.